welcome back to my camera's YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Hi guys. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone is having a fabulous day, staying safe and healthy, being blessed, having a great weekend. Um, it's gonna be a long weekend for me. Um, Monday I work. made an appointment with the dermatologist. So weekend and I need this time off to recover and just relax. Um, cause with the dermatologist. With the cosmetology and there was nothing about them until July. So these hives, they keep on showing up over my body every day. I get more and more. So I don't know what's going on with me, but I have, I don't, they don't have no appointment until July. So I'm gonna keep on calling them and and asking if somebody um, canceled to put me in because I gotta find out what's going on with these hives. Why am I getting them? What am I allergic to? Because you know, when you get older, you start getting all these allergies from from when they, when you were younger, you didn't even have. So, so I have a simple DIY project. You probably seen this already in most of these DIYers. Um, I seen somebody doing it, so I'm I'm gonna do it. I wanted to do it because it looked this nice. I've been seeing other YouTubers um, that does DIY. Do this um, but I'm gonna add a little twist to it so you have to get the clear glue it don't have to be Elm, 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 Elmer's glue it could be any clear glue um, some picks some flower picks whatever flower picks you would like a clear base and I'm gonna add a little twist with this vanilla. Um, how do you call this? Vanilla uh, fragrance oil with this vanilla fragrance oil. This is from DT. This is from DT. These are from DT, and this is from Walmart. So first, you're gonna do. Let's see if I could do it one hand. I should have. Okay, I'll be back. Guys, I'm back. I should have just um, took the lid out before I started recording. But, you know, you know what happens. So, I'm going to add a little bit of um of this glue. Hold on. Now I have glue in my, in my hands. Okay. So, what you're going to do, you're going to add some of this glue in here. I'm not gonna add too much because this is a big base. And then what you're gonna do, and then I didn't open this neither. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is this, this is vanilla scent, and this is from DT. What I'm gonna do is add a few drops. Put a little few drops in there. Let it mix with the glue. So when you put your flowers in, they smell like if they were real flowers. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna put the the flowers in here, and they're supposed to the glue supposed to get hard. When after it dries, it's gonna get a little hard, and it's gonna look like if you have. Is water and she's just putting the water in the base and they're gonna look like let me put a little bit more of these drops in there it's gonna look like um ethereal flowers so i got these lovely picks from dt neutral colors because like i said my apartment is is um um black um white and white and gray so i just wanted some neutral colors so what i'm gonna do is put this one in the middle put that one in the middle let's see it um and then put this one over here 
And then we draw this one over here. You just play with it the way you want to play with it, how you want it. Um, so yeah, so <clears throat> I'm gonna play with it a little bit more off camera. So the idea is, the idea is when it, the glue hardens, it's gonna look like a piece, like flowers, a real, like a, I, I, it's gonna look like you have real flowers in here, but it's fake. And then I just added that um, oil, essential oil, the vanilla one, so we could have that smell. So this is my little DIY. Hope you like it. And I have a few Dollar Tree hauls um, that I have to upload and a Timu haul. So I'll see you on my next video. Thank you. Be blessed. I also did this one, guys. This one, I put more glue. I also made this one, and I added um, some rocks um, from DT. These are not from DT, these I bought them, I believe, in Michael's way back when I first moved into this apartment. I put in some of this vanilla oil in there too, so they could smell good, and I have this one on my dresser in my room. Another idea, it's so small a base. Hi guys, I have a small um, hack to share with you guys. So this is my wax warmer that I bought at Walmart years ago. So this part comes out. So I put the wax in the freezer for a little bit so it could get hard. So now I'm gonna shake it out. Look at how simple. You can reuse it if you want. You can reuse it how many times you want until the smell is gone. The sense is gone. So what I'm gonna use right now, I'm gonna try these out. I bought these at Dollar Tree. Um, these are the coconut lime the lumen luminescence. Um, these are the, the tea something, scented tea can, candles, but I'm going to try one of these out to see how they work with, um, my, um, wax warmer. So I'm going to put this one in here, put it up there. And then I'm gonna turn it on. And then I'm gonna leave it there for a while to see how this works with my um my wax warmer because you know it has the aluminum so it has this so let me see how it works. I'm just gonna leave it there and see if I can smell it. And I'll get back to you in a few. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's melting. I think this is, it's not a strong um, throw, but I think it's good because it don't make a mess. You can just, um, when you finish melting it, you could just take it out of there. Just let it cool off before you put it out because this is metal so um that would burn so but i think this is a great solution if you don't want all that mess um it's not a big throw with with down wax 
um, tea candle, but it's okay. So just wanted to share the hack with you guys. Bye, be blessed.